Hey, how's it going? My name is I don't manga. That's not my name. My name is I don't manga. I'm here to open these boxes for you. This is my first like manga haul of this like room. Like I've had other, like I've had like another manga haul I had before this. That was like a oh I went to Baltimore and I got some manga from there and I read a couple. This is straight out of the box. These are my favorite mangas. Straight out of the box manga. And it's been a while since I bought some manga. So let's just get into it. I have two boxes, two orders. This smaller one, I'm gonna try not to reveal my location, especially since I just got this location. You know? And it's great too that I moved because I was really careless when I was younger. I was like, who's gonna watch this channel? Nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like there's no reason for me to care about, oh, who sees my address? Who doesn't see my address? But now that I, uh, my channel is getting a little bit bigger, now nobody's really going to care. But it's still like, it's getting shaky. That's, that, that's where I'm at. It's getting shaky. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Woo, I'm excited for this. This kind of also spoils my manga log for this month, but eh, who cares? Um, I have Ajin Demihuman Volumes... Four, five, and seven, right here, with eight, nine, and six. Did they not have two? Oh no, I already bought one, two, and three. So, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. I bought uh, volumes four through eight, through four through nine. I, I'm awful. Uh, yeah, I love the first three volumes of Ajin. Uh, I read it all this month. Um, not all of it. I read the first three volumes this month. I know the complete editions are coming out. I want to pick up the singles because of how cool they look. And wow, this series is this series is incredible. It is something special. I am loving. Uh, honestly, the only issue I have with it is it's sometimes it's too confusing, like or it's too smart for its own good. Where I, my dumbass cannot keep track of everything that's happening all at once, all the different plot points and stuff. But wow does like this series makes like it respects me as a person that sounds awful uh i'm just gonna continue after that i have another manga that i've been reading uh that i've been really really excited about because how good it is and the anime is coming out orb on the movements of the earth volumes it says five and six and three and four but two and three volumes two and three uh, if you take the last number, actually, math, math here, take the last number and divide it by two, you get the actual volume count, because that's how math works. Whatever. Ajin, not Ajin, fuck. Orb, on the movements of the earth, volumes three, two, and three. I love this first volume. The first volume was also incredible, like, really, really good first volume. Great twist. Like, the twist was incredible. Honestly, I, um... It's sad to say, but I don't think our two new main characters... That's kind of a spoiler. Our our main characters are, uh, like, are as attached as previous characters introduced. Um, I'm not as attached to them. I'm not... They're not as, uh, I don't know, compelling, I guess, as I was the last character we were introduced to. But it's only been a couple of chapters with them as our actual main characters. So... I want to like, you know, read some more volumes, get into it, see where it sticks from there. I am very interested in this manga, especially because I'm really interested in this guy. He's looking all bloody on the back. That's scary as shit. I, this guy is so terrifying. Oh my God, he is scary. All right. I also got this. I don't know what... Conquer your gift list. Kick off the holiday shopping with great anime gifts for every fan. Uh, does, do they not know that, um, I have, I bought this on the site? Like, what? why are they advertising their website with the manga I bought from it? I know the website exists, I just bought, like, a shitload of manga from it. God damn. Oh, big box. Where's my knife? There it is. This is the one I'm excited about because I have actually no clue what's in here. Oh, I think I accidentally cut some of the manga. It's fine. We're chilling. It's fine. 
That song is stuck in my head. I don't know why. Oh, shit. They package this awfully. I already see a volume of spent. That's awesome. I love that. I love when that happens. All right, I'm just going to take this out now before I look at everything else. Ugh! They did not cook with this one. And with that one. Okay, whatever. Uh, D100 Girl. Ugh! They fucked this shit up. Whatever. Bro. The 100 Girlfriends that really, 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 really love. Or who? Who really, 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 really love you. I think that's the right number, really. I don't really care. This manga is incredible. I love this manga. It's one of the funniest mangas I've ever read. Um, genuinely, yeah, some of the funniest shit of all time. Some of the cutest shit of all time. Love the premise. Uh, there's so much stuff about this manga that makes me laugh. Uh, and there's also some emotional moments too. Don't sleep on this shit. Uh, best harem of all time without actually being a harem. Uh, and I hate harems. So that should tell you how good this thing is. Next. Oh, they put a lot of manga on the side. Kagurabachi volume. One. Come on, I had to. I You literally have to pick this volume up. Like... Uh, this is the new shit. Like, I have to at least try it out. If I read it and I absolutely hate it, most likely this manga is going to be sold out everywhere, go up in price so much, and I can sell this shit for like $40. So it's a win-win either way. Uh, that, I, that was a joke. I'm not... Oh, I might do that. I don't know. Uh, if I dislike it, I'm probably going to like it. I read the first chapter when I was getting all the hype and, and stuff, um, and I really enjoyed it. I really liked the first chapter. I think... I just noticed on the back there's like an insane crease. I don't know if you guys can see that. There is an insane crease on the back. And I'm pretty sure that's not purposeful. Because I can feel it. I can feel the crease. Um, I read the first uh, chapter. is incredible. Um, I love the action. The premise seems pretty interesting. You know, it seems pretty basic. But also I could definitely see it growing on me. So, yeah, Kagurabachi. I'm excited for it. I am actually very excited for it. Take this out. Do I have any more volumes on this side? I do not. I haven't... See, look at this. I haven't even opened this stuff yet. There's more volumes in here. Way more. Alright, I got Yomotsuhegi, Volume 3. I'm probably going to finish this series. Because uh, I think this is the last volume. Um, yeah, I really like the first volume. Got 2 and 3. Took a little bit to come out, but... I'm excited to finish it. It's pretty simple manga, but the art is incredible. Like, like genuinely some incredible art. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. I'm excited to do this. I'm just going to move it by one and see what the first volume is. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Okay, the first volume is, just taking it out, Blood on the Tracks, Volume 17. I actually don't talk about this manga much. But it is in, like, my top 20. Like, this is easily my favorite horror manga and one of my favorite manga of all time. And this is the finale. So I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to get back, and I'm probably going to do a review on how good this is. Next. Oh! oh, shit. The greatest volume of all time is dropped. Q volumes 4, 5, and 6. I am excited. Uh, if you don't know, Haikyuu is my favorite series of all time. Favorite manga. Really favorite anything, honestly, of all time. And um, volumes 4, 5, and 6. This is like when the series, in my opinion, starts like picking up. If I think this is the match. Oh, oh god, it's way past the match that I'm thinking of. Um, the Asahi... Uh, like, uh, uh, Karasuno versus, uh, Daytech, Date Teko or whatever it's fucking called. I don't really care. Um, like, that's where I think it starts, like, hitting high gear becomes 10 out of 10 masterpiece, in my opinion. Yeah, Haikyuu, perfect manga, in my opinion, I'm rereading it. So, yeah, uh, love it. But that's all I have to say. And I, I'm, like, rereading it, repurchasing it, everything. And I still own the singles. I don't know where they are. They're right there. Can you see them very well? Like th these right here. Yes. I think. <laughs> All right. 
Ooh. Next, I have, I don't want to look at anything else. I want to like surprise myself with it. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm stubborn that way. I, my hero wants to start working now. I have, oh God, this is skinny ass volume. Tokyo Avengers, A Letter from Keisuke Baji. Volume two, skinny ass volume, expensive ass too. Shit's like $15 for this skinny ass shit. I read this in like 20 minutes. What the hell? Uh, I don't know what to say about this, except that it is incredible. Uh, the manga, uh, the original manga is. I heard that it drops off though. Like, I, I feel like people don't give Tokyo Avengers enough credit because, I mean, everyone says, oh, the ending sucks. It dropped off so much. But for something to drop off, it must be good, great, or incredible, you know, like at some point, and my opinion, it was at this guy's arc. This guy's arc, a fantastic arc. I gave it like an eight out of 10, I think. So I am excited to see what is to come with uh, this guy's character. If it was any other character, I probably wouldn't pick this up. But because it's Baji, I have to. Come on. It's Baji, bro. He has like the greatest freaking backstory of all time. Okay. Ooh. You looking good here. I got Medalist Volume 4. If you don't know, on Twitter, the author of Medalist praised Blue Period. Underrated ass manga. So, I don't know what that means, but the author of Medalist has to be like a secret genius or something to praise Blue Period. I don't get it. I don't hear enough praise from Blue Period. Oh yeah, Medalist read the first like three volumes. Incredible manga. Uh, genuinely fantastic. Or the first two volumes. I don't know. I read Medalist. Some of it. Uh, and it's incredible. Like I can tell it's going to be like one of my favorite sports series. Uh, pretty soon. Oh shit. I forgot I bought this volume. Gachi Akuda Volume 2. Not much to say about this. Read the first volume. Uh, loved it. Loved the art style. Loved like the creativity of it. Uh, and I mean we're just getting introduced to more characters. And more characters through the the series. And Volume 2 is probably going to be no different. So yeah. I'm really excited for... I'm going to read like a lot of these volumes after this video, honestly. I mean, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to create a YouTube short. And then I'm probably going to, I don't know, make another video about something. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll figure it out. <gasps> I keep doing this, Shaggo. <gasps> like, I, I, I bought this manga with my own money. Uh, the Boxer, Volume 8. <laughs> ah! If you don't know, this is my second favorite vo uh, series of all time. Uh, right under Haikyuu. And honestly, this was pretty close to beating Haikyuu out. If the ending hits, if the ending is the greatest ending of all time, might be my favorite series of all time. I don't know. I, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, The Boxer, Volume 8, thick as hell. We loving it. We're up. Volume 9. I already pre-ordered it. It's coming out in like January or something. Yeah, I am so excited for the series to come back. It feels like so long since I read Volume 7. And Volume 7 was straight a masterpiece of a volume. That entire volume invoked so much emotion out of me. I didn't even know I could, I could cry. I didn't even know I could make those sounds. Ugh. Okay, I, we gotta stop this shit of opening. I'm just gonna take it off. Okay. Oh, I see everything. <laughs> I see everything. All right. First off, a new favorite series of mine. Honestly, this might, I, I'm talking about this like I'm talking about The Fable. Because both of these, if they continue on this route of quality, might land into my top 20. Dare I say top 10. Because the fragrant flower blooms of dignity, dignity got me feeling, I, I genuinely don't feel about, like, I don't feel as strongly as I do. Like, I feel strongly about this relationship more than, like, my own relationship. I kid you not. I am more invested in this relationship than I am, like, my own. That's fucked up. That's, like, definitely fucked up. And I don't know how to feel about it. And this manga is genuinely so good. Like, the romance is genuinely so good. I don't know what... I, I, I literally can't describe. I was literally reading this manga, and there got to a scene... Where they're like the two um, guy and girl are texting and the guy sends a risky text or whatever. Not that kind of risky text, but he sends a risky text. I literally got up from my seat and started running down and back. Because how uh, how much adrenaline. Uh, Blue lock hasn't made me feel that way. 
Blow log. This mug is incredible. After that, I have a, another very, very good volume manga. Uh, it's a Kagurabachi, or not Kagurabachi. Gachi Kuda volume four. Because uh, I own volumes one and three, so I needed two and four. And then here's another manga that's also underrated that nobody talks about for some reason, but they actually talk about more in the anime space. It's Your Line in April, The Omnibus. I've already read this manga too. I'm rereading it, and it, oh my god, this volume is thick. It is heavy. It is beautiful. I love the quality of this volume, but I do feel the spine's gonna break. And I'm very scared about that. So I'm gonna try to read this to the best of my ability without breaking it. Uh, it just feels like one of those spines that break in half. Um, God, the, the, it's so glossy. I love this cover. I love like the, uh, the cover stuff. And yeah, it's an omnibus. So it's a collection of volumes. I'm just rereading it. I probably shouldn't do that. I probably should like just actually pick up the manga. It's, it's, it's a problem. Speaking of the fable, uh, the fable volume four, uh, first three volumes, like actually some of the funniest manga I've ever read. I'm going to just open this now. I don't know why the fable, like, oh God, I almost cut my finger off. Uh, I don't know why the fable has this wrapping. I mean, I know why. Um, like every single time we see the main character alone, he's usually naked, but, um, I don't know. There's nothing ever like sexual about, it. unless there's something sexual in this volume, uh, which could definitely be possible. Um, this series is incredible. I don't really know what to say about it. It's one of the funniest series I've ever read. It has some of the greatest art. The dialogue is so, so good. Like the way people talk in this manga, like actually feels like they're real people. And the pacing, like, actually might just be perfect. It might be the greatest pacing I've ever experienced of all time. There's never a dull moment, but there's never a time where I feel like it's rushing. There's never a time. I, 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 I don't even know how to explain how good this pacing is. It's just so incredible. Next, we have volume... Why the fuck are these volumes fucked up? Okay. We have volume 23 and 24 and 25 and 26... Of Tokyo Avengers. I have not read these volumes. Obviously, obviously, I haven't read these volumes. But I also haven't read... I'm on like volume 13 slash 14. So I'm more just collecting this series because it's coming out. Um, I don't know why. But I just am. And I don't know. I don't have a lot to say about this. Except for at least of what I've said about uh, A Letter to Baji. Yeah, Tokyo Avengers is just incredible. Fantastic manga, no dull moments. I, some kind of some dull moments. Uh, my biggest, are my biggest uh, complaint with Tokyo Avengers is definitely the main character. He's a great main character, but like, it, it's just frustrating to read about a main character where you, the reader is creating solutions to problems and the main character actively won't use those solutions to problems. Like, so many things could be solved if this guy at least tried tried to get better at fighting he doesn't even need to be better literally just put the and i think they did this in a later volume literally just put the fact that he's trying to get better at fighting and show him winning a couple of fights literally makes the manga like up a grading point in my opinion out of my arbitrary arbitrary one uh, zero through ten i actually use zero zero through ten literally just putting Three or four scenes of him training or of him working on his skills propels it into the stratosphere of making it so much better. Um, and then if he didn't cry as much, obviously. Like, I've never seen a main character cry. I feel like he cries every single chapter. It's not a bad thing to cry. I'm not saying, oh, he should be stoic and not cry. That's some pussy. Sh no. Have your main character. That's like how you feel emotion. You know, like that's how you share emotion with your reader and your main character and your story. But when it's happening every single chapter... How am I supposed to connect when I know it's going to happen? Like, oh my God. All right. Next, I got Full Night Volume 2. Volume 1 was genuinely the greatest Volume 1 I've ever read in my entire life. Uh, and I hope Volume 2 is no different. Because goddamn was Volume 1 so good. And I really like the spines and covers they're doing with this series. I'm really enjoying the way they're they're showcasing it. All right, I'm not going to talk about this too much. Medalist Volume 5, I'm actually not going to talk about it at all. Blue Period fan, I'm a fan. 
That's all I have to speak about Metalus. Uh, Under Ninja, Volume 4. Uh, I'm going to read Volume 3 this month. That's all I got to say. And Volume 1 and 2 are genuinely very good volumes. Uh, it's like, it's kind of hard to talk about the series because I don't really know what the series is about. Um, it's like, it's hard to describe, but like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I just don't. And here we have the important volumes here. Here are the, the, the three important ones. Uh, first off, Blue Lock, Volume 50. First off, this cover is beautiful. Why is this cover uh, genuinely beautiful? And, oh, I can already see the moments in this volume. If you don't know, I have already read this volume. Um, or I've read this, like, arc and, like, series online. And, oh, this volume about to be hard! This volume about to be I'm so excited. Okay, I'm reading that next, by the way. I'm reading that. As soon as this video ends, I'm reading that one. After that, we got to our final volumes. Wreck of Ragnarok, Volume 12. Uh, what do I have to say about this? Not much. Uh, I've actually been loving Wreck of Ragnarok lately. And I feel like this next fight might be the best one. Because just the opponents. Buddha is such an interesting character. Uh, he's so freaking cool. And the villain is so interesting. We already got their backstory. It's out of the way. I'm so, so excited. And finally, the final volume in this manga hall, I think. The final volume in this manga hall is Link Click Volume 1. If you don't know, which I'm guessing most of you don't, uh, actually all of you should not know this. I watched the anime, the first season of the anime, and I fell in love. The first season of the anime is so incredibly good, has such a tight narrative, an interesting plot, interesting powers, interesting world, great characters, stellar art, stellar animation, fantastic writing, everything, all of the above, anything you could ask for in a series, Link Click has. It also had incredible action too. So, as soon as I heard a manga was releasing, I had to buy it. Also, this cover could not be like more annoying. Like, I don't know if you can see this on camera. Hold on, I'm gonna fix this shit. I don't know if you can see this on camera. It's like glossy and shit. There you go. That is so annoying. I hate that. Um, oh, I am excited to read this. I love this manga. Manga. Anime. Dangwa. I love the anime of this, and the manga basically looks the exact same. So I'm so excited to basically rewatch this. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is the end of my manga haul. I actually, hold on. I don't know if you can see that. That's all the manga that uh, was, uh, that I opened today. And I'm gonna read all of it. I, I, I bought a lot, of, a lot of manga. Woo! Yeah, that's the end of the video. And I purchased a bunch of pre-orders too. So I spent a lot of money. That's going to be the end of my end of this video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to read all this stuff and then I'm going to make a YouTube short. Actually, I'm going to do that before. Next video, D. Gray Man video going to come out probably eventually. I don't know. Soon, maybe. I don't know. It's fucking... Whatever, bro. Uh, D. Gray Man's never coming out. Bro. The one guy that recommended it, but take your money. It's never coming out. It will. It will. Uh, maybe. If you made it to the end of this video... Put the bench emoji. I think this is super cringe, the way people do this, but I don't know. I think it's funny when people, when this is like a spam of bench emojis in the comment section. If you made it to the end of the video, put a bench emoji if there even is one. And a uh, couple things if you want. Um, if you want to go see my Twitter for some reason. And my, my anime list is down below. Also, if you want any manga, manhwa, or manhwa reviewed, or comic uh, reviewed, all you gotta do is give me a super thanks. The lowest amount, two dollars, I'm chilling. And, or two anything, I'm pretty sure someone sent in euros. I'm fine with that too. Uh, and I will review it. Also, is my arm so fucking huge in this lighting? Whatever, whatever, we're not talking about me, we're talking about you. If you want anything reviewed, I will do it. All you got to do is pay me as well. Uh, there uh, is a Bleach and One Piece review on my channel. You can go and find those pretty easily. 
If you like the style of those videos, that's exactly what they are. Those were paid for. I did those videos. If you like the style, you know, that, that's basically what I'll do for your manga. That is all I have to say. And goodbye.